Discover new creative tasks that expand beyond our previous little challenges. In choosing a theme for each specific task, we aim to create an introductory film for you, to reveal the theme, and to inspire you to undertake this task. We've named these tasks missions to underscore their importance. Adding mini makes them more inviting and accessible. We invite you to follow us on Nay's mini missions. Before diving into the process of creating and reimagining characters that live on the pages of books, on screens and in our imagination, we invite you to discuss the essence of such contemplation and where reimagining might lead us. In simpler terms, why should we take a new look at already familiar heroes? And, of course, we will primarily focus on illustrators. Their creative work becomes today's foundational element of our mission. Illustrators play a special role in this process. They not only visualize texts but also infuse the images with their own vision, making them more vivid and multifaceted. Whether it's a book, magazine, advertisement, or video game, illustrators utilize a wide array of techniques and materials, from pencil and ink to watercolor and digital tools, to convey mood, style, and message depth. Illustration is distinguished by being specifically tailored to a task, combining accuracy with creative freedom. It's thanks to these efforts that information becomes not only comprehensible, but memorable. The creative process of conceptualizing a character based on a textual description can be an engaging journey. Here's how we see this process. The illustrator begins with a thorough analysis of the text description, highlighting significant character traits such as age, gender, personality traits, profession, the era in which the character lives, and any specific details like clothing or accessories. This is followed by a research phase, during which the illustrator looks for additional sources of inspiration, such as historical documents, fashion, nature, and art references, to better understand the context and details of the character. This helps make the portrayal more plausible and compelling. At this stage, the artist starts experimenting with various poses, facial expressions, and details, creating several sketches of the character. This allows the illustrator to explore different options and see which elements best convey the character's personality and emotions. Sometimes, the illustrator shares their ideas and preliminary sketches to ensure that the work's direction aligns with their vision of the character. This step is crucial for aligning visions and adjusting details. After the concept is approved, the illustrator begins detailing the selected sketch, adding color, textures, and final touches. At this stage, paying attention to every detail is important to bring the character to life vividly and expressively. The final step involves revising the work, possible adjustments based on feedback, and preparing the illustration for publication in the required format. This process demands not only artistic skills from the illustrator but also the ability to deeply analyze the text, empathize with the characters, and be flexible in creativity, adapting their vision to the expectations of the client or author. The style of presentation deserves special attention as it determines audience perception and emotional response. The presentation style should accurately reflect the unique traits and emotions of the character offering viewers the chance to empathize and sympathize. The chosen style should harmonize with the theme and overall atmosphere of the work, adapting to the specific genre and audience. Creative approaches and innovation in presentation styles are highly valued, making the character unique and memorable. It's important to consider cultural and social nuances in the presentation style, reflecting diversity and avoiding stereotypes. The style should meet the audience's expectations and preferences and be adapted for the specific publication platform. Ultimately, the presentation style is a crucial aspect that allows illustrators not only to tell a story, but also to establish a deep emotional connection with the audience, making each character truly alive. Observing the evolution of illustrated characters is a fascinating phenomenon that reflects not only changes in art techniques and styles, but also cultural shifts, changes in public moods and values. Take, for example, Cinderella, a classic character who has been interpreted numerous times in different cultural and temporal contexts. Over time, both the techniques for creating illustrations and artistic styles have changed. For instance, early illustrations of Cinderella might have been done in the style of Victorian engravings, while later versions could differ with modern digital techniques, offering a vibrant color palette and dynamic compositions. 
Changes in the depiction of characters also reflect cultural and social shifts. For example, the portrayal of female characters has evolved from passive and dependent figures to stronger and independent ones. This reflects broader trends in society regarding gender equality and self-determination. Technological advancements also contribute to changing the appearance of characters. Digital art and animation allow for more complex and detailed images and experimenting with new forms and presentation styles. In the modern world, illustrations of characters increasingly reflect the influence of globalization, integrating elements of different cultures. This makes the images more diverse and interesting to an international audience. Every artist brings their unique vision and sense of style to their work, which also affects how illustrated characters evolve. Different interpretations of the same character can reflect personal interests, experience, and the specific illustrator's philosophy. The evolution of illustrated characters demonstrates how art and culture interact and change over time. This allows us to see how the same stories can be retold anew, reflecting changing values, expectations, and aspects of human experience. While our initial focus was on how illustrators conceptualize characters, we now see that evolutionary reinterpretation naturally changes them, influencing the development of characters in art and culture. Now we return to the concept of understanding because we're addressing such a delicate issue as co-authorship. Can an illustrator be called a co-author of a writer? Yes. In many cases, an illustrator can indeed be called a co-author of a writer, especially when it comes to works where visual elements play a key role in conveying the story, emotions, and atmosphere. In such works as children's books, graphic novels, or illustrated editions for adults, the illustrator's contribution is often so significant that their creativity shapes the overall impression of the book as much as the text does. Illustrators visually embody what writers create with words, enhancing and expanding the perception of the text. Their illustrations can reveal additional layers of meaning, deepen the understanding of characters and events, or even tell their own stories within the main narrative. This visual dialogue with the text enriches the work, making it more multifaceted and interesting. Co-authorship implies collaboration and mutual influence, and in the case of successful illustrated works, such fruitful interaction between the writer and the illustrator does occur. The illustrator, interpreting the text and adding their unique visual perspective to it, often becomes not just an executor but a full-fledged creative partner making a significant contribution to the final product. In the process of co-authorship between a writer and an illustrator, reimagining and even some distortion of the original vision of a character can occur. This may happen for several reasons. Each artist brings their unique style and perspective to their work. An illustrator might see a character or scene from a different angle than the writer, leading to the creation of images that differ from the author's original concept. Misunderstandings between the writer and the illustrator can sometimes occur. If ideas and instructions are not clearly communicated, the illustrator might interpret the assignment in their own way, resulting in differences in the final illustrations. Illustrators like writers value their creative freedom. Within this freedom, they may choose an approach that best suits their visual language, even if it means deviating from the original description. On the other hand, certain technical limitations, such as the format of the publication or the color palette, can also affect how characters are presented. Such reimagining is not always negative. It can enrich the text by adding new layers of meaning or offering the audience a different perspective on a familiar story. In the best case, the interaction between text and image creates a rich fabric where each element complements the other, offering readers a deeper and more nuanced understanding of the work. To minimize the risk of discrepancies between the writer's vision and the illustrations, it's important that there exists an open line of communication between the authors, as well as mutual understanding and respect for the creative process and each other's contributions. Our discussion about reimagining characters logically leads us to the topic of caricature, the quintessence of reimagining and transformation. Often perceived merely as ugly or humorous depictions, caricatures are, in reality, a profound artistic tool capable of revealing the essence of a character or social situation with unexpected sharpness and insight. A caricature doesn't merely distort outward features for entertainment or trolling, it highlights the most characteristic, sometimes exaggerated aspects of characters or ideas, allowing us to see familiar things from an unexpected angle, emphasizing their absurdity, contradictions, 
or even tragedy. In the context of reimagining characters, caricature can serve as a means of critical analysis, uncovering hidden motives, social and political subtexts, or simply human weaknesses and vices. In this sense, caricature is not a final judgment or condemnation but rather an invitation to dialogue, where the image becomes a reason for reflection and distortion is a way to deeper understanding. Through such transformation and reimagining, caricature opens up the essence of characters and situations, making them simultaneously closer and more comprehensible, and revealing new facets of their complexity. So we came up with the idea to propose to you our dear friends, a series of creative tasks that go beyond the lovely tiny challenge. And in choosing a theme for these tasks, to create an introductory film for you, to reveal the theme and to inspire you to undertake this task. We decided to call these tasks mini-missions. First because the word task is often associated with mission, and then because the word mission has additional meanings that capture the essence of our idea. To make the concept more accessible and avoid grandiosity, we added the qualifier mini to mission. We think it sounds good and does not distort the original meaning. Nevertheless, these missions and these introductory films represent, in our opinion, an important beginning and support for those who wish to engage in creativity, both in an educational and practical sense. Expanding your horizon and contributing to your creative development seems to us to be a successful mission on our part. We will therefore take this first step and invite you to follow us. Now, let's get into the essence of the mini-mission on Nay's Carousel channel. We invite you to share your vision and ideas on how classic or forgotten characters can be perceived in a modern context. Your creativity can add your unique voice to the rich history of art and literature. With the development of cinema, television and modern media, the gallery of characters available for reinterpretation has significantly expanded. We live in a world where every movie, every series, every comic and video game can introduce us to new heroes and antagonists, each deserving attention. These are not only classic literary characters, but also those born in the digital era, in an age of global cultural communication. Today, thanks to the accessibility of information and creative tools, each of you has a unique opportunity to take on the role of creator, interpreter, and critic. You can draw inspiration from an endless array of sources and apply the most diverse techniques and approaches to give familiar images a new sound, a new context, a new life. The mini-mission for reimagining the character you choose is meant to emphasize this freedom of creativity. We encourage you not to limit yourselves to traditional boundaries and not to be afraid to experiment. Take any hero as a foundation, from a deeply symbolic figure from ancient mythology to a modern comic book superhero, and show how you see them through the prism of your own experience, knowledge, and feelings. For a deeper dive into the topic and discussions with the community, check the video description and visit our channel's community, where we will publish your works with our comments. This way, you can see the creativity of other participants and exchange ideas. Send photos of the characters you've reimagined to the email address, stanislava.ne, at gmail.com. Please attach a few explanatory words to help us better understand your vision. If you have anything to add or specific aspects you would like highlighted or considered during the publication or presentation of your work, feel free to share. If the number of submitted works reaches at least 10, we will create a video review summarizing this mini-mission, introducing you to the participants' names and their works, and we will make a brief overview and summarize our first experience with mini-missions. For publishing your works on social media, we invite you to use the hashtag #NaysMiniMissions. This will allow us to stay connected and continue our mini-missions together. We've shared with you educational material that you can immediately try out and reinforce with the idea of reimagining a character. And you have a wonderful opportunity not just to absorb this information, but to actively interact with it, applying your understanding and creative approaches to create something new. This creates a strong connection between theory and practice, enriching each participant's experience and providing tools for further creative exploration and self-expression. We wish you luck in reimagining a character and pleasure in its realization.